What's up my fellow pirates? This is Bfot and welcome to another product review. Today we are doing, uh, this is called online, the Jack Sparrow Pirate Cullis. Get ready to be boarded. Now, uh, it's just the uh, sword itself and the scabbard here. <clears throat> and let's get right into it. I will be doing a uh, close up so you can see everything in better detail, but for right now, here's your, uh, here's your review on it. Uh, start off with your sword, it is heavy, feels good in the hand. It's uh, okay balanced. I mean, it's like right about right in there. It is solid. You can shake it. Nothing's nothing's wiggling in here. Um, this is cheap Chinese steel for those that care about such things. And it is mirror polished, so it looks really nice. Now, this is decently sharp. It's not a razor, but it will cut something if you're swinging at it. Um, for our negative on the blade, like I said, the Chinese steel, and it does look like there's smudges here. There might have been a sticker or something, but and then they took it off before they sent it to me. I have no idea. Over here, hand guard. Uh, this is all nice and brass or brass finished or whatever it is, and uh, has a pirate ship inlaid here. It's it's actually raised, and uh, other side got some nice intricate handle work. Now, over here, we have our little scabbard, some type of wood with, uh, looks like a, I don't know, it's supposed to look wet or something, some sort of finish on here. Looks pretty sweet, uh, and brass fittings as well. This, I, uh, I really like it. It's a cool sword. Um, you can get it just for just for looks, show your for for show, whatever. You're hanging out with your buddies, challenge them to a duel. You know, that's what you got to do. For this, uh, not too much to say about it. It is a really tight fit when you stick it in, and uh, this is nice and solid. The only issue is down here, this brass piece. This is wiggly, real wiggly, um, so I could see this falling off and may need to glue it back on someday. So this is the main negative part of the whole thing, besides the uh, Chinese steel. Um, yeah, let me show you, because this, this matters to a lot of people as well. Throw your sword in there. It's solid. It's not coming out of there. So. You know, I'm not going to give you a cut test because, like I said, it's no razor. It's not going to do very well in a cut test unless you're really swinging. I mean, you could chop a cardboard box, you could chop your buddy, you know, something like that if you want to test it for yourself. But, um, nice sword, nice mirror polish, feels good in your hand. I got, I got decent sized hands, and it fits right in the right in the handle perfectly um, you know and I still have space to go so if you got bigger hands no problem here it will fit it's worth it and uh, let's get you guys a close-up and uh, show you guys the finer details of this thing All right, so here's your close-up. This is your uh, this is your hand guard. Oh, there's notification. Has a uh, skull and crossbones, the pirate ship, and down here has two flintlock pistols. On this, has this a weird, I don't know what you call it, finish. Sort of look like there's raindrops on it. It's not, it's not even like a leather look. I don't even know what this is, but looks cool. I dig it.
nail polish. And you can sort of see the, the smudge, whatever the heck that is too. This right here, if you can't read that, it says uh, BK2991 made in China. That's like the product number, whatever, and made in China. Cheap shiny steel, but looks awesome nonetheless. And awesome fit. Can't go wrong. Peace. And that's about it, guys. Um, I recommend getting this sword. Uh, five out of five for me. You know, my personal uses. I really like it. Uh, the little wobbly and the Chinese steel doesn't bother me. Um, you know, I, this is mainly a showpiece for me, but, you know, if I have to use it, actually use it, I'm not worried about ruining a $500 sword, so I'm not worried about it. I think it's awesome. Uh, I recommend getting it. I got this one at True Swords. Um, but you could probably find this all over online. Uh, but if you like this video, find any value in it whatsoever, uh, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, share it. Uh, comment below if you got it or if you liked it or if you want to see something else let me know um, you know uh, comment subscribe share whatever uh, check out my channel bfought 17 for magic music and entertainment and that's about it guys have a nice day peace